G'day, g'day, this is Charlie and I'm coming to you with your daily dose of business tech inspiration. Today it's topic number 295. We're going to be talking about A-B testing in email campaigns. Now, in previous podcasts I have spoken about A-B testing campaign or A-B testing in general for your websites, for your call to actions, for a whole heap of other things. <laughs> and you know, now today we're just going to be talking about it in email campaigns and the things that you should be testing could be testing can be testing and ways you might want to test them the thing that i really want to get out right up front here in the in this this podcast today's podcast is to make sure that when you're doing your testing i don't know if i've said it really in my previous episodes but when you're doing testing like this change one thing at a time don't change multiple things it's really important that when you are trying to work out what works best and what doesn't work best is that you have one difference in an email or in, in, a, in a web page and you can assess the, the, the impact that one difference has. It's no use changing a hundred things and saying, well, here's one, one version and here's another version. This one works better. You don't know what it is that is, is making the difference. Now, certainly... If, if, if you're just starting out, you could do something really broad and brash like that. But once you get down to this one performs better and you want to start refining it one thing at a time, just one thing, that's all you need to do. All righty, now that I have had my say there, let's get on to the things that you can be testing in email campaigns. Your subject lines. Test your subject lines, experiment with different lines, see which version leads to higher open rates, focus on variables like your length, your tone and how you personalise them. So your email subject lines is one of the things you can test, it's probably one of the most important things you can test because that's the first thing people see when it comes into their inbox. The next thing you can have a play with is your content layout. Try things like single column versus multi-column. Try where you have images. Do you have images? Do you not have do do you not have images? Do you have lots of images? Do you only have one or two? Where are those images placed in the email? Where do you put your call to actions? Where how, where do you put specific blocks of information? Do you put a introductory welcome type credentialing thing right at the top and then have your call to action down the bottom do you do your call to action at the top and your your credentialing thing at the bottom you need to play with all of this to work out what your audience responds to best i've already spoken about what where you put your call to action the next thing you need to test is what call to action you should be using try different ones not only try them in different places once you worked out where that placing is try different ones does this color convert better than this color does this wording work better than this wording does the button make a difference does where it does where where it's placed within the line of the text make any difference so test your call to action as well uh, we spoke about personalizing the subject line and testing the personalization there the other thing you need to do is test the personalize or personalization or generalization within the body of the email itself does d does your audience respond more if you use their name throughout it hey charlie have you thought about this charlie you know i know you and i have, have thought about this and i know you and i have similar thoughts on this why 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 aren't you doing this or have you thought about using these things or what's your favorite color that's one way of personalizing it the other way as we've spoken before is what product recommendations you can put in what resource recommendations you can put in based on what they've been looking at previously you could also just do a generalized message which has very little to no personalization in it and that might work even better as i've said previously i sometimes find emails that are clearly mass market that have got a lot of personalization in them and by that i mean a lot of hey charlie what do you think about this charlie you you know i know that you're a smart woman hey charlie those sorts of things really kind of 
irk me because they clearly are mass market emails. So the personalization is just automi- automation. There's nothing really personalized about it. it it's, it's a fake personalization. That actually turns me off. Maybe that's what happens with your target audience. Maybe they don't even realize. Maybe your writing is so much better that they don't realize that it's actually a mass market email. But sometimes generalization works better. You need to test that as well. Testing the send times. I know I've spoken about that in a previous podcast, I think this week even, or in the last few few episodes. You need to work out what times of day, what, what days of the week and what times of days work better for you to send your emails. Some some audiences like them really early in the morning. Some need them in the middle of the day. Some need them later at night. It's really it is important that you understand what's going to get you the best open rate and the best click through rate. Once you have all of this data, and when, yeah, getting the data is one thing. You needs to have the data, but not doing anything with it is the important thing. Oh, is is sorry, not doing anything with it is or what why are you collecting the data at all then you need to analyze it you need to sit down and look at the results of the testing you need to put do your comparisons this was test one this was test or in 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 this parlance this was test a this was test b which one works better what are we finding okay we've got this now now we're going to refine down the next little bit make sure that you're not only collecting the data but that you're looking at it and you're analyzing it and you're making decisions on that okay so there's some thoughts for you Uh, there's a bit of personalization there from myself in terms of things that things that I consider when I'm doing it I'm sure that some of you have your own thoughts as well I would love to know what they are leave some comments wherever you're watching or listening to this video uh like like the video like the video subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so you find out when we drop more content please come across and join us in our locals community ask charlieletham.locals.com you can join the conversation there Tomorrow, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I do have a whole heap of topics I want to go through, but there's something else I've been considering trying and I might, well, redoing, doing in a different way. I might try that tomorrow. We shall see. I will see you all tomorrow, guys, with a surprise episode. Bye.